My gosh. You know, I wanted to go and take a nap today while I was doing other things. And I just had this surge of energy to give a message. And I jumped on it. Because this has given me encouragement, inspiration. It's given me energy. As I'm giving this message and sharing it with you, this is encouraging me. I am speaking to my damn self. Collective. And I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not ashamed to express it. I'm not ashamed to, to admit it. We all are connected. We are a collective. That needs and will be and that is passionate even more about life. Okay? You are the best part of waking up. Say that to yourself. Put that down in the comments down below. Every time you wake up to take a breath of air. Every time you go outside to even sniff the breath of air or take it in and breathe it out. Just every time you're able to breathe. Damn it. You are the best part of waking up. You are the best part in your life. Mm. My God. Preaching today. This is life that I'm speaking and to myself. That I'm speaking to you. Mm. <laughs> you are a buffalo soldier. Yes. You are in this war of America in the heart of of America. You are a buffalo soldier. Whatever animal you claim to be. You don't have to be a buffalo. Yes. You are the best part of waking up collective. You are the best part in your life. Yes. 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 I love this energy. I love this message. Again, claim it. Claim this message right now while spiritual judgment is occurring. Instant karma is occurring. People are meeting their fate. You are being protected by angelic realms right now. As we speak, I mentioned my ears were going off. My left ear was hot. Spiritual realms is fed up. They're dragging these nasty energies and entities and whoever has caused my collective harm in me to judgment. Mm. I felt that. I felt that. My gosh. Mm. Yes, collective. Because you are a victor, not a victim. Yes. Remember, God is, he has the vengeance. He's calling all the shots. He's moving the pawns on a chessboard. Or you are, but he's thinking that for you. He's helping you make those moves. And victory is yours, says the Lord, a.k.a. Ra. Vengeance is his. Don't seek vengeance on your enemy. Let the spirit realms. I just showed you here. They're protecting you. You see that? So let the spirit realms handle their asses collective because it's being tossed on the platter right now. Uh huh. Since they wanted to eat off your platter. Harvest off your platter or plate. They're being tossed on the platter right now to be eaten, to be served. Whatever have you, the spiritual realms want to do. Whatever have you, judgment has upon these energies and entities and people. In your life, whatever that may be, they're being put to justice. They are being served from eating off your plate. Ah. 
Preaching. My gosh, collective. Mm -hmm. And I can keep going. This. Oh, my gosh. You possess an old soul. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You've been here probably on this earth and just in many lifetimes reincarnated into just a lot of things. <laughs> right now, you're reincarnated into who you are in your vessel and body, so take care of it. Starts with the mind space, then the heart space. Mm -hmm. For you to make moves and take actions within your spirit and soul. You possess an old soul collective. Because you are God's child. I spoke about that earlier. You are God's child. And he loves all of us. He loves you. I love it. Mm, mm, mm. My gosh. So that song, yes, on you wanting to be fancy. <laughs> Let's go back to that. And live fancy. Be fancy and live fancy. All right, so I'm pulling from my, again, enchanted map. Oracle deck. Okay. I don't know. I'm feeling led to pull from my palm tree right quick. So let's do that. Hopefully, just one card appears. Ancestors, just one card, please, for my palm tree. So I'm going to pull from this deck here. Okay, can we give my collective, can we give my collective a message from my palm tree deck regarding this message, regarding this whole message from spirit guides and ancestors. Okay, a lot of cards fell. Try that again. One card. Just one card, please, for my spirit guides and ancestors. Okay. One card, please. One card, please. Wow, that just flipped over. <laughs> I was tossing it, you know, shuffling, and this one just flipped over. So, wow. That is awesome. It's pretty much saying for us to try to think about the lighter side of things and of life. In our new life and in our new chapter and the shifts that are going on can be very, very tiring. It can be very, very heavy. Um, it can be very, very... Because um, it's in the unknown. It can be a little confusing if you're going through these shifts. Definitely... Stay hydrated, get enough rest, and try to just look at the lighter side of things that you're going through. I always told my children, even though you had a little challenging or bad day, what good did you get out of it? What was good that you received? What was the good thing that occurred throughout that time or that day? And that's my, my encouragement to you, Collective. Look at the good in what you're going through and focus on that seed. Focus on that energy. Focus on that for it to multiply into more goodness and things in your life. The gratitude that you're giving and the intentions you're setting on that good, that occurred. In spite of what's going on around you or within you, what good came out of this experience or came out of this lesson or just what good are you feeling? How did it make you feel? What did you do to experience that goodness? Loop of humor. Look at the light side of life. 
is what my encouragement is towards you tonight or today when I review in this. You'll rub that top part from your palm in between your pinky and your ring finger. You'll be massaging that area there counterclockwise to bring in that energy, to activate that energy. I love it. I love it. Look at the lighter side of things. And it's, again, challenging to do that, but it's encouraged. And when you start to do that, look at the lighter, the lighter side of things. It takes your mind off the challenges you're going through. It takes your mind off of the hardships and just the suffering that you're going through. Easy said and done. Everybody's situation is different. But in spite of the trials and tribulations, you know, it says in a word to give thanks to God and everything you go through, the good and the bad, the dark and the light. Give thanks. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull one card from... In spite of everything I was saying, my message, I was also pulling out some positive energy on top of the heaviness or just the heavy things that came out that I had to address. Positive things still came out and I loved it. I'm looking at my, my spread right now. Let's see. Out of the negativity, let's see. There was one, two, three, four, five. Uh huh. Three, four. Wow, there was only five things that I pulled out here that was a little heavy. And it was a lot of positivity surrounding these five things. Beautiful. Yes. So, this, three of them fell out, but I ended up seeing this one while I was talking. Filled of dreams, number 21. 21, to be a significant number to my collective, and also five. But filled of dreams. You see the eggs? You are... Again, and that, what is that, hatching mode, you know, you're in that, what's that, Chrys chrysalis energy, you're inside that cocoon, okay, and you're going to bloom. This is showing springtime, so blessings is coming to my collective in the springtime, blessings is coming as you're harvesting and planting your seeds now. And it will bloom into blessings. This looks beautiful. Very promising. Clear, beautiful skies and just the bloomness of... This is... Spring is actually... I'm sure y'all know by now. That is, that's the new year. That is the realistic time the new year comes around. During the springtime. And when that occurs, from all the coldness and the dullness and just the hibernation and everything you had to endure and go through, the trials and tribulations, don't y'all feel good when spring come around? I don't know about y'all, but when spring comes and things are blooming, I see grass budding from the grounds now, and it just gives me joy. To see grass growing from the, the earth. And just everything is brand new and it's fresh. Don't y'all feel good? Don't y'all feel like a refreshing energy? It just blooms in your soul and in your spirit. You just feel a brand new fresh energy. 
So this says, dreams, continue to dream, continue to believe, continue to, again, work on your healing and on yourself and on your self journey. Give everything to God in prayer, a.k.a. Ra. All your dreams and wishes and hopes and manifestations while you're meditating and resting and sleeping and you're taking care of your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. As you're doing that, you're going to see a bloom, a, a field of blessings that will occur upon you collective. I'm claiming this message. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel like a butterfly. You're going to flutter your wings. You're going to just feel so good and delightful inside because you conquered, you, you endured, you persevered on your self-love journey, your spiritual walk, whatever you want to call your journey that pertains to you, your health or physical journey, whatever that is. You making the changes now will show in the spring, will show in the future by you working on yourself presently right now, bettering yourself. And I'm not saying or causing or putting any judgment on nobody because everybody is and should be made equal, but everybody is different again and is on their own spiritual journey and path. And again, it's going to be different. Everybody's walk is going to be different. Everybody's life is different. Everybody's trials and tribulations are different. The struggles that everybody has to go through. I judge no one. Because I wouldn't want to be judged. I'll pray for my collective and I'll pray for whoever. That has done harm to me. And collective, I'm praying that you will do the same. To heal. For, your, for you to bloom and for you to expand and become that beautiful flower. Or that butterfly, whatever you want to become. That bird, whatever it is. In your life. To represent you transforming and transitioning into a better person, a better being here on this planet, on this earth, we're going through all these shifts. We have to forgive not only ourselves, but our enemies. And it's not easy because you're going through the thick of things. You're going through that healing. You're going through that introspection. Shaping and peeling off just old skin. Just the old self, the old you. You're literally throwing up. You're vomiting all the past nasty wickedness that you've been scolded and schooled and told that you were or going to be. You're throwing that all up. Flushing that shit down in the toilet. You're shitting that stuff out. Heart, my French. You're clearing and cleansing that mental fuck, the mental things that people have said to you. I'm just keeping it real with my collective. You're walking into the new version of yourself. You're becoming the new version of yourself. And it's causing you to tap into that shadow side. You cursing and speaking out to that shadow self. To tell that shadow. Bow down. I am not who I was before. This is not who I'm going to be. Bow down. Release from me. Rebuke that energy and send it to pregatory where it belongs. Yes, collective. Mm. I 
I'm speaking facts. Like and share. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Like and share this message. If you agree, you claim it. Continue to, again, laugh, dance. Um, get outside as much as you can because spring is coming. Yes, and I can't wait for the new year in spring. Um, that's my encouragement, Collective. Again, this is encouraging me. This was a deep message. Such a deep message. But I hope it, if it doesn't resonate with you, it still heals you. Again, this is Rastagal, a.k.a. Angelic Empress. Till next time, take care and peace.